You won't waste any more of your time pulling weeds out of your garden this summer if you do what I'm going to show you over the next three minutes. It's called the paper mulching method and it's simple. Check this out. You want to grow vegetables, not weeds, right? This is a method that was common for centuries, but it was forgotten at the turn of the Industrial Revolution about 100 years ago, and it's been completely forgotten with the technological boom. But let me show you what's going on here. The soil you see inside these cardboard rows are where we're growing our vegetables, okay? If you scroll down through our videos, the playlist of gardening, you'll find how we tilled this soil without using a tiller. We use the double dig mulching method. Now we're taking things a smart step further so that we can work smart not hard and we're making sure that by using cardboard, common cardboard, that we're not going to have to spend any time weeding our garden this summer because we're growing vegetables not weeds. Here's how it works. Once you've finished your, and we're on number two right here, digging our, uh, our bed or if you just have a traditional typical garden bed where you've used a tiller that's fine, but your rows in between your vegetables, where you're going to walk, okay, where you're not planting. This will give you nightmares with weeds, as you know, unless you use a paper or cardboard mulching method. Simply take boxes that you collect throughout the year, okay, we save ours. Remember, we've said it before on this channel, I'll say it again, one of the best ways to recycle is to reuse. You don't have to be hauling this stuff down to the curb every Wednesday to feel good about recycling. You can save it and reuse it yourself and you're still recycling. So you take your cardboard, once you know where you're going to plant your vegetables, you line the outer edge with the cardboard. Okay, now this, this is the first step. I've kept this side unburied. I simply laid down my track of cardboard where I'm going to be walking to work on my vegetables this spring and summer and where I do not want the weeds to grow. Okay, so once you've got that lined down, you simply use some soil, as I've done in this this side here to cover the edge, to hold it down. Okay, you don't cover the whole cardboard, that's doing way too much work. You just cover the edge to hold it down. Okay, and then as you have your second row of vegetables, you do the same thing. Where you don't want the reeds growing all the way around, you come down with cardboard and you're going to plant your vegetables in the side. We've done this all the way around down to the end, we've buried the ends. Okay, now what's going to happen is as my vegetables grow up through this soil, I'm not going to have weeds. And I don't have to come out here and weed. I don't have to use any sprays. The cardboard is going to prevent the sun from hitting the soil so the weeds don't grow. Secondly, it's going to allow the soil to remain or to retain moisture because as it rains and the soil starts to run downhill, we're on a slight downhill grade here, and it tries to come back up through the soil through evaporation, so I'm going to make it out of the cardboard. Now, if I wanted to, and if I have enough cardboard, I could come over and put cardboard down here all the way up to the edge of my fence. But if I don't have enough cardboard, or I don't really mind coming out here with the weed eater or the scythe or whatever once a month and just ch chopping this down really quick, that's fine too. But the weeds that give you the biggest hassle when you're gardening are the weeds that grow right along the bed of your vegetables that grow into your vegetables. It's a never-ending battle. But if you use cardboard, and folks, you can use newspaper also. They did that 100 years ago. And I know those of you under 30 watching this video were saying, what's a newspaper? Okay, well, back before the Internet, we actually would read the, the news in printed form on, on this big square rectangular paper. It was called a newspaper. Ask your grandparents if they're still alive. They'll be able to tell you. Some of your parents might, okay? So anyway, you can use newspaper. You can use cardboard. <clears throat> um, you can actually use old boards if you want, but listen, the best thing about cardboard newspapers is that it's biodegradable. This will work this year. It will be mostly effective next year. However, after two years, it's probably not going to work because the weather's going to break it down, the snow and the freezing, and the winter is going to break it down. But the good thing is that I can just mulch that up into my soil and it works as mulch for the, for the next growing season after that. So I'm not poisoning my soil here, okay? This is an excellent way to prevent weeds in your garden. And when I'm finished, I'm going to use all this to do it all this whole way. Yes, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of work one time up front. I'm working smart so I can do it right the first time so I only have to do it once. When it's 90 plus degrees this summer, 90 plus humidity, and I don't want to come outside when the sun's up, I'm not going to have to worry about coming out here to weed because 
the cardboard or paper mulching method is going to do my weeding for me by preventing the weeds from growing. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from it, please subscribe to our channel and make sure to check in next time for more videos from Homesteading Off the Grid.